really awesome, awesome tool. Uh, so uh, every time you hit uh, play, it gives you like a bunch of uh, particle effects to check out. I think right now I'm doing four times four times four, which would be 16, like 40, more than 40 times more than four times 16. Okay, let's aim at it. So you see, it just randomly gives you particle effects, right? And all these particle effects are like saved automatically, like the last run and the last made materials and particles. Some of these look pretty cool. Like, I don't know. These look kind of cool. This one's like, okay, here, put this in like, I'm thinking of Gradius, the old Gradius game, right? So you just grab this particle system and you can put it into your, uh, your save folder, right? Uh, you just hit original prefab, obviously. And then, I wonder if I can drag, I can't just drag it straight over. So I reduced the number of things from a thousand. Oh, I have this window up. Huh. Uh, also, it's a, uh, it's probably at the bottom. Where is this one? Oh, uh, it's not even highlighted. Okay, so I want this one. Okay, check it out. Put it in the save. Anything else cool looking there? There's like a couple cool looking ones. I mean, if you really want to make it look cool, like say like, so you don't, you really don't. Well, I'm doing four by four right now. I'll do five by, let's see, five by five by five. Like it just, it generates a new one every time. I have it uh, set up to F12. Actually, I, this project's really cool too because when you hit F12, it like compiles, it, it refreshes assets and plays and then F12 is stop and play again. So it, it, it mimics your play button, but it never refreshes, right? So it took a little bit longer to load because I got like a five by five by five. Oh, there's a bubble one. I like the bubbles. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a sucker for bubbles. So put the bubble in my save. And just trust this. You can use this on any of your projects. Any of these things that generate. Oh, that's a cool. Put that in my save. Let's see what else. Uh, let's see what we got. There's like a couple little stars. That's pretty generic. Maybe I can make this stars. Ooh, it's like a lightning storm. You can see that like, like you're, you're playing like like one of those like Greek games, and this guy's like <laughs> with his fingers, man. It's like freaking uh, Emperor Palpatine, uh, Medusa, or whatever you know. Got that going on. It's, it's like ooh. I mean, like you just look around. You can like it's so cool. You just generate so many, it's so cool. Uh, anyway, um, seems like that's all I want for now. I'm gonna, I'll generate a couple more. And the, just you can just trust me that like uh, you can just trust me that uh, we can use them. I'll show them in a little bit. You can trust me. You just wait a little bit, and I'll prove it. All those ones go over into the save file. They're gonna be able to be used in any file. You can export them. Oh man, this thing's like it, it's straight up thrown like uh, like imagine if you were like in a uh, this is a cool one. So let me explain how this particle effect might be cool. So like you're in like a like a a, ch a chess master's game. And he starts throwing the the chessboard at you. You know you can change you can just you can modify these. You know you, you know how to modify uh, particle systems. So you got this, yeah. And then obviously this one's kind of similar over here, but I, I kind of like it. So I'm gonna jam out. And all these saves ones I'm saving right now you can use when you buy the uh the, the asset thing. Oh, it looks like it's this one's throwing out nails. Check it out. Like quake nails or something, man. It's kind of cool. And like what you do is you put like you throw a bunch of like uh, PNG files. You don't even need to like make texture or anything. Looks like this one's throwing out some like batarangs. Okay, we'll put those in here and save folder. What's this one doing right here? Oh, this one's this one's straight up like just uh like thrust. Uh, that's kind of generic. Or something cool. Like, oh, what is this? Okay, that's kind of cool. So, uh, so like I said, you just keep running. Like uh, I'll explain. Uh, whoa. This one's actually really cool. Okay, I'm, I'm done looking at cool one. I'm sorry, I just made this, and, like, there's so many cool things that, like, it, it generates that I haven't even, like, got done being wild by it, you know? This is pretty awesome when you write your own software, and you're like, I don't even know what my software does. It's like the days of the fractals, right? So let me show real fast. There's all these cool numbers you can change with. You can you can change what you uh, what sprites you slap in, some materials. You want when you start with materials, and it mod modulates them with the sprites, and then, like, it, it throws a bunch of random stuff together and modulates those things, and out, out pops the, the thing, right? So we saved a couple things in the save folder, right? Let's go to it. Let's grab some stuff. Uh, oh, that's, like, that was one from another uh, before. Uh, let's see here. That one's uh, kind of cool. What's this? Is? Oh, wow. That's, like, a flamethrower or something. Anyway. Uh, oh, that's just, then the other thing. And then, like, obviously, that's a chessboard. Ooh, thick chessboard pieces. Ha-ha. And then, like, uh, and then I guess that's the one that looks similar like it. Oh, we got more. It looks like chessboards. Like this chessboard has yin yangs. Oh, we got it's chessboards here. Oh, we got some nail. But I mean, like, it's, I mean, this is cool, man. Like, and what you do is you want to put in this another game. You just hit like, like I think it's export package. Boom. Then, then you got export package. You can, I mean, you can you upload just the asset store. You can make your own, dude. You, you, you can like buy my uh, particle effect and like straight up like just sell particle effects. And it's like you can be like a bum. And all you do is sit around all day, is click and generate, regenerate. You know, it's like the, it's like uh, like you're playing Minecraft for cool Minecraft levels. You know. You can, you can do that. I mean, I'm gonna sell like this. I'm gonna sell this for about, uh, I don't know, I'm 49. Probably get some discounts. And uh, but it's just awesome. So anyway, I'll give you some more details. Uh, if you want to edit, if you want to add actual script, it's all sorts of crazy things here. 
right here you just edit scripts here obviously for reasons I'm not gonna let you just have the script and look at it right now but like uh, I'm gonna make it so like say like one of the future updates you know, like you have a particle system like you have this particle system then you just like generate and it would generate a bunch of variants off of that particle system okay like so like you would be a lot like that particle system except the randomization would not be fresh from the beginning it'd be fresh from this so you'd have all the variants of that one then you can find oh this is closer to what i want to want i take that one and i randomize off of that one eventually you have to have no skill whatsoever to use particle systems you get the perfect particle system for your game with this system right at least it makes it drafts really cool drafts and stuff for people who are even professionals Takes, you get drops in just moments. You know what I'm saying? So uh, this is this is this is it. Rando particulo. We're gonna be doing rando shadulio, shadulio, shady, shady, shady. We're gonna do the shaders. You know, uh, all the shade mages. You know, people are like, oh man, you have the dark art, the shaders. But if you randomize it, we'll be able to make all sorts of crazy cool shades. That's gonna be the next one up after rando particulo. Hope you enjoy this product. Um, what else we got going on with the general thing of it? Um. Huh. I'm trying to think if there's anything else to add, but I mean it's just easy. Like you said, it's oh yeah. If you want the particles, you want to go for like the so like if, you, oh I closed it. I forgot to grab it. Like you can just grab it off the old particle hook. Right? You know, it's it, the last the last ones you generated are stayed in and in, stayed in here. So if you don't even want to like grab them, you want to you want to generate and go. You can just you can do like if you want to, you can generate and just copy these generate and copy these folders and then pick through them later. You know. What's this? So anyway, uh, cool. Check it out. Uh, enjoy Rhino particular. Adios.